SEO Buffett so you guys can create local service pages. So I already have the bulk of what I'm going to need. Uh, that way I don't have to go back and forth, but these are going to be the main uh, points you guys are going to want to do. And I'm going to walk you. I'll be actually pulling up the SEO Buffett and we'll go in and start filling things up. So first thing you're going to need is the type of company. Uh, for this for this example, I'm going to be using a home remodeling company. Uh, two is going to ask you for the name of the business. So you're just going to put the name of the business, whatever the name is on the Google business profile, typically, um, or the actual registered name of the business is what you want to use. Then it's also going to ask you for five business highlights. So these five business highlights are typically things like, you know, five star rated on Google, family owned and operated. Um, 20 plus years of experience, things like that. Um, but what you want to do is you want to actually expand on that. And a very easy way to do that is by using ChatGBT. Um, and let me actually go back to the prompt that I used. Okay, it should be right here. So it's this one. Pretend you are the business owner of at a construction LLC in New York, New Jersey. List me five business highlights about my company that would make a customer choose us over another remodeling company. So you can see it gave us these five right here, 15 plus years of experience, personalized designs, quality craftsmanship, efficient project management, comprehensive services. So, so these are the five business highlights that we're going to be using, right? And of course, just quickly skim over and make sure everything's uh, correct for the given uh, business that you're using. Um, and then additionally, um, whenever we go into the services tab, it's going to ask you for a unique selling proposition or a USP for that specific service. Um, so I already have three here that I also use ChatGBT for. Uh, so we're just going to use these uh, for the given services. Um, and again, you can also use uh, ChatGBT, um, which I actually use here. So this is a prompt that I use for a, a service that says, again, pretend you are the business owner create a USP for our kitchen remodeling service. Um, but it, it, what it gave me was pretty short. So I hit expand and then it gave me a whole bunch of other stuff that, that uh, is what we're actually going to be using. So um, that's another way that I grab the content here. Um, and then finally, another thing that we're going to be needing is um, there's a section in the local SEO buffet where you can actually input relevant information about the city that you're targeting. So whenever you're using the local SEO buffet, you can target up to five cities and you can add up to five different services. Um, in this case, the client, uh, we're going to be targeting four individual services, but we are going to be targeting five individual cities. Now, what most people skip that I've seen using Zimrider is they actually there's an option where you can actually add information about each individual city. And by doing this, it's also going to include that relevant geo geo information into the output that it gives us. And that's something that we do want to make sure because for every city page that we that we have, we want to make sure that it includes at least a paragraph or two about that specific location. That way it gives it a bit more uniqueness um, whenever we go and actually post these and and it's just going to help us save a little bit of time uh, going back and forth from like Google and trying to get uh, geo information and that way it's already going to have some type of geo information whenever Zenrider gives us the output so it's going to save us a little bit of time and then you can just go in there and do a little bit further optimizations which is going to be another video um, but that's the book of what you're going to need to get started here. So let me go ahead and pause it. And then I'm actually going to pull up the SEO buffet and then we're going to go ahead and paste all of this. All right, guys. So here is Zimrider. So you're going to want to head and click local SEO buffet. Um, and I already went ahead and filled out everything just to save time. Um, but I'm just going to quickly go through everything again. Um, let me pull up the notepad right here. Um, mix, mix that smaller, put that over here. Um, okay, so again, business type, uh, home remodeling. For this example, of course, you're going to want to put your client's uh, type of business. Name of the actual business. 
Now here is where you're going to input the business highlights, right? These are the business highlights that we got. And again, we used uh, chat GBT. We use this prompt uh, right here. We use this prompt right here and we grab those business highlights. Um, and then under that, this is where you're gonna put your locations, right? Um, and this is what I mean right here. If you don't hit enable background, you're only gonna see this. And again, these are the five cities that uh, I'm gonna be using for my client. Uh, you can use, you can do one location, three locations, or all five locations. It really comes up to the needs of your client or whatever project you're working on. Um, so the so we're using all five, but make sure you hit the enable background. And this is going to allow you to add background information about every location that you have, right? And this is going to allow this information to actually show up on the actual output that we're going to get from ZimWriter. Um, the way I grabbed the background information is, again, I use ChatGPT for this. You can go on Google. You can go on Wikipedia um, to get any type of information. But I like to use ChatGPT. It's this one. Put on your expert content writer and research hat. Create a 200-word point of interest website page about uh, Bloomfield, New Jersey that gives relevant information, includes the city, surrounding areas, and the history. Uh, so that's what I used. And then I just copied and pasted this, this output into the background information field. And I did that for all five locations here, as you can see. Um, after that, this is where we're going to put the services. So we, for this particular client, we're only using four services, home remodeling, kitchen remodeling, bathroom remodeling, and basement remodeling. Um, and then we put in the USP for here, for each one. And then we also put a benefit. So this is, again, what I use ChatGPT for, and this is what, what we have right here. So the USP. Um, so I just did one for each service. So I just copied and pasted this into here. So what I did is whenever I went into ChatGPT and I would put, let me find a good example here. Uh, so I, I did this one, pretend you're the business owner, create a USP for our basement service. Um, then I just hit expand. And now you can take one here. So for, we could take that and we can paste it into the uh, USP. Um, and then for the benefit, we can just take another one of these and we can put it into the USP option. And that's pretty much what I did here. Um, so I did that for all four and then just hit enable literacy and also hit boost chance of detection as real. And then from here, you, you are ready to get started um, and you can go ahead and, and click start local buffet. I already did it, um, so I'm not going to actually hit the, the button. Um, but for the next step, we're going to actually go through the output that it gives us and then how to optimize it and then actually pasting or, you know, putting it onto the actual website. So hopefully that was helpful and, and walking you through all of this. So um, that is pretty much step one.